everybody what is up welcome back to my channel thanks to seed for sponsoring this video it's a daily symbiotic that was developed for systemic benefits beyond digestive health i'll be talking about it a little bit more in this video but you guys can use the code carolyn15 click the link down below to get that deal but i can't wait to talk more about it because it is pretty awesome thank you seed today we're doing some days in my life in new york city it's tuesday we've got um a fun day ahead and I just thought I'd take you guys along on my next few days. <laughs> I need to get up. I've been doing work on my computer this morning. Um, so now it's time to get up and shower, make the bed, play some music, have a main character moment. <laughs> Just got out of the shower. I thought I'd highlight some things I'm loving right now in my bathroom. You guys know I've been using these for probably four or five years now. These are the Naturally Serious Cold Press Peel Pads. I love them. I just use them to cleanse my face and they wake me up in the morning. I need them. I am obsessed and always will be with this Sunday Riley CEO Glow. I have it on my skin right now and it just feels so good. It smells so good. It makes you look so glowy. Right before you got in the shower, I used the Skinny Confidential Hot Shave facial razor and I've tried many and this one really is worth the hype. I actually forgot to try the shave cream which I also have here. You're supposed to put this on and then use the hot shave razor. It's for like peach fuzz and stuff, stuff like that and this thing really does work. So I am obsessed with this and it's a good like handle for sure. In my shower I have to shout out this bad habit face wash it says you can't wash away those 2 a.m texts but you should still wash your face i love their branding so fun this is a matcha and mint daily cleanser it's called wake things up it is the best thing to wake me up in the morning as soon as i get in the shower in the morning i'll put this on after i do my cold press peel pads and it just wakes me up so loving that and then also my skin has been so dry in the winter here in New York. So this Dove Body Love Moisture Boost Body Cleanser and Shower Butter has done wonders for my skin. You use this um, on your wet skin in the shower as like a pre-cleanse and it has hyaluronic serum. It's literally like face skincare products and body products. It's like much needed. And then you use the body cleanser. It's so amazing. My skin is so soft. Picking out my outfit for today and I think my base is gonna be this Skims dress. I will link it down below, you guys. I'm about to put it on. This is the black tank top version. It's a maxi dress. Oh my gosh, it's so flattering. I have it in gray in the long sleeve. Like, look at these curves. It just naturally puts in. It's so perfect for curvy girls like me. I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to start with this and then throw over a leather jacket perhaps because I just want to be comfortable, but this also makes you look pretty cute. So that's the goal for the day. And then I'll probably just wear my tried and true Argento Vivo. Um little hoops or these love aj i always get them confused i don't know one of the two i mean literally the most flattering dress ever it's so comfy too like love it i'm wearing a size small i'm actually wearing skims underwear too not that you guys would know that but just telling you i guess okay so i just threw this leather jacket over top from lamarck i don't know it's okay but i need to be warm like it's cold out so I feel like it makes the most sense. It's cropped. So I'm not wearing makeup because we're starting the day off by getting a lash lift and tint. So here's a little before. My lashes are still kind of lifted, but I'm really excited to get them tinted too because it just makes your eyes pop. It's your natural lashes. They just lift and tint them. So I'm going to see Michelle. I'm so excited. Um, and then from there, we're heading over to the Gals on the Go studio and recording Gals on the Go. But there, I'm going to do my hair and makeup. So I'm like bringing my stuff with me. So we're going to go to the studio and do that. We're having our friend Katie, Katie Bellotti, on the show today. So excited. Some girl chat time. Before I head out, I'm going to get a couple things done, prep for the podcast. Just made some Trader Joe's peppermint tea. I put it in a little to-go cup because I won't be finishing it um, before I leave. Just packed my little bag for the day. <laughs> this bag is from Nunu. I put a makeup bag, some serum in here from Herborian, and just like my wallet and sunglasses and stuff. And I decided to wear these shoes with it. And I think it kind of makes this outfit very fun. My little black and white Nike dunks. All right, 
Let me not get sidetracked. Let me get a couple things before we head out the door and start our day. All right, we are at the Gals on the Go studio now. I'm gonna raise the blinds here, bring in some natural light. Got the little setup here. I have our mirror, my makeup, brought some serum as well. So we are at the studio a little early. I don't have my lashes done. So as soon as I got there, we, I laid down. She was about to do my lashes and poor thing. She had just taken two shots of espresso because she said she had clients all morning and she was just tired and her hands were like, shaking like not just like a little like shaking she was like i am so sorry this has never happened to me and i was like seriously don't worry about it go home relax she was like i think i have to cancel all my um appointments for the day she just like was feeling super jittery and that's really hard when you're doing someone's lashes obviously so i was like no worries i have somewhere to be after this anyways so we're at the studio now i'm about to do my makeup brooke is at an event that's like almost done so it kind of works out perfectly I think by the time my makeup is done, she'll be here. She's walking here from the event and we're gonna go to lunch together and like catch up. We haven't seen each other in a little bit and then we'll come here and record. So it kind of works out perfectly. My lashes aren't done, but that is okay. I'd rather her go home and get some rest and just, you know, it happens. So this table is so wobbly and I'm so sorry you guys. I'm gonna do my makeup. You guys already know my makeup routine, so I'll see you guys in a little. I also decided it's a hair up day, like it just is. All right, so I just finished my makeup. I even put on a little eyeshadow, who is she? I'm gonna need to fix my ponytail, but um, I'm gonna go meet Brooke downstairs. We're gonna go walk to Le Pan Quaridan. I love that place so much. It's a great little lunch spot. I'm craving their lentil soup with some bread and butter. And she told me that she saw Jazz at the event. So Jazz is gonna come to lunch with us too, I think. So I'm excited to see her. Let's go meet them downstairs. Makeup is just very glowy. I'm very proud. They're giving me a little haul from their um, Duncan little oh, event. Oh, a gift card. This is so cute. Card. Wait, did they give you a donut on top of the, is there donut makeup? Wait, this is so cute. This is, I guess, let's open it. Elf times, I always say times. Times. Collaboration with Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I'm excited about these. It's all the Those are lip glosses, that is, this is the cutest thing I think they've ever done. I'm, You're I'm done. Wanna leave it in pristine condition. <laughs> what is that? Makeup sponge? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Jazz dressed for the event today. She looks she so cute. I love the little elf rep. <laughs> so cute. We're at LPQ. I'm so excited. <laughs> LPQ, that's what my mom says. I don't know, that's what my mom says. She's like, go to LPQ for me. Um, so I'm gonna get the lentil soup, Avi. Do that again, I think. It Wherever it is. It's time. so good. It's filling, it feels nutritious. Bowl, right? Oh yeah, we got a bowl yeah. with bread and butter. Mm-hmm, big bowl. Big bowl. <laughs> This means everything to me. I'm so excited to dig in. I'm like really hungry right now. Me too. Oof. In the middle, Katie, or oh yeah, you tell me. We're gonna drive to have her on the couch with us. Gals I'm on the couch. On the couch. Yes. Gals on the couch. I'm trying to think what makes sense though, because we only have two mics. So I'm trying to think maybe I just could pass me right. pass it. I don't really. I'm making them pose for thumbnails right now. Thumbnails Crushing it. <laughs> I always forget to do it. My turn. Walking in the door right now, I literally just took my hair out of my um, ponytail in the elevator because my hair was so slick back, it like hurt, kind of. I don't know what happened, but I am so beat. The episode with Katie was so good. We talked for so long, it was so funny. Definitely go listen to Gals and the Good Podcast if you don't already. I have a lot of work to do on my computer and just some other stuff. Tonight, I think I'm either staying in or I really love working at the public hotel in the lobby There's like a great little coffee shop area, but honestly, I really just want to like take all my makeup off Get cozied up light some candles Maybe some incense but Bridgerton on the background or some loafy beats and just like Get to work, but before that I need to like chill for a second. So there is nothing better than taking off your makeup, and I'm like about to do that. I had something delivered to my door while I was away. I'm really, oh my gosh. How exciting. Yes Way Rose Spritz, blueberry and lavender. 
so excited to try this. I love some good wine. Spritz, Spritz Society is the best, but I am very excited to try this. Blueberry and lavender, that's an interesting flavor combo. Um, so very excited to try that. Also, I got this package in the mail and I was like, what did I order? And it says it's from Pottery Barn and I was like, I didn't order anything from Pottery Barn. And then I looked at the product description because sometimes it'll say it on the thing. And it says bunny wreath. If you guys have noticed, my mom sent me a Christmas wreath and then she sent me a Valentine's Day wreath. And I'm wondering now if this is an Easter wreath. This is really cute of her if it's so. I'm gonna open this. Oh wait, it's kind of open. Oh, I'm getting pine straw ever. Oh my god. It's so cute though. Look at the little bunny. I want I don't know. This must be real. Oh my gosh, my dress. Guys, my dress right now has pine all over it or whatever this is. But this is so cute of my mom. I'm like, what holiday is next? Like, is she just gonna keep doing this? But I guess she won't do it next year. Like, then I'll have all the wreaths. I have to, I have to like store all these. This is so sweet of her. I love that she's doing this little tradition. <laughs> This is kind of classic too, very cute. Um, okay, well now I have to clean all this straw up, but we're gonna clean up, get in some comfy clothes, you know the vibes. Okay, it's a lot later now, and I haven't tried making something new for dinner in a while. Not that this is a new food item for me, but I wanna challenge myself to learn how to make ramen. Like some good old ramen, I found a recipe online, I'll tell you guys where it is from. This recipe is from forkknifeswoon.com and it's simple homemade chicken ramen. It looks very much my vibe, but mine will not be looking as pretty as that, but we're gonna try. Um, so I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and attempt to get all these ingredients because one of the like special sauces it says they have at Whole Foods. So it's gonna be an adventure together. I've been wanting to do this. For a while, I'm excited to take you guys along with, I don't have chopsticks, so I'm wondering if they have them at Whole Foods. And I also don't have those big spoons, and I don't have those big bowls. But I do have like, big bowls are just not deep, so we're just gonna like, feel it out, it's fine. Um, it'll be a learning process, but like, let's say the soup turns out really, really good, then maybe I'll, I'll invest in some ramen accessories, because I think it's gonna be so fun. I told Ryan I was doing, he was like, do you need any help? AKA like, he wants in on it, so. Um, he's gonna, he's at the gym right now, but he's gonna join me when I get back. So yeah, we're gonna go to Whole Foods. It's gonna be an adventure. I'm gonna get all the ingredients. It's like chicken, chicken stock, ramen, obviously, all these special sauces, garlic, ginger. I don't know about garlic. I might've just said that. Yeah, I think it was garlic. No, ginger. I don't know. Anyways, let's go. I'm gonna hop on a jacket, put on my AirPods, listen to a podcast on the walk there. Let's do it. We've got all the ingredients here. I doubled the recipe. I got all types of ramen noodles because I really wasn't sure. And I'm sure I'll be making this again. A lot of these things, you only need like a teaspoon. So hopefully if I make this again, I'll have like more minced ginger and minced garlic. I got this if you want spice. I don't, but I know Ryan likes that. Green onions, chicken stock, mushroom, sesame seed oil. This seems to be a big part of the situation, this mirin rice cooking wine. Um, I'm sure it's gonna add a good taste. And soy sauce, and then the chicken, obviously. So we're gonna get to cooking. It's already 8.30, but I don't know. When I like get my mind onto something, like it's happening in that moment, I'm doing it. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so we are boiling the water to boil two eggs that are gonna go in each of our bowls. I'm so excited. I've actually never hard boiled eggs before, or at least I did as a kid with like my mom, but not in recent years. So I know you like put it in a bowl of ice water too, which is exciting. I don't know, this is just exciting. Lots of things to start on. Looked at the recipe, realized that it calls for the oven to be, or the oven, for the chicken to go in the oven, and I don't have a pan, but I just called Ryan, he does, but he won't be done for 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna try and do everything else. I think it only takes like 20 minutes tops for the chicken, 
so it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to get to cutting the scallion and the garlic and maybe start making this broth. I don't know. Let's see. I'll have this um, recipe linked down below. This is what I'm looking at. So cook the chicken. So I guess we'll just skip that. So we're gonna make the ramen broth. Heat the oil in a large pot over medium heat until shimmering. Add the garlic and ginger. Cook for a few minutes until soften. Add the soy sauce. Okay, I have to pay attention. So I guess you add things gently. We're just making the base right now. Just added the soy sauce. Oh my gosh, this is literally smells so good. I just want to eat this. So much is happening. My brain is like, ah, this is the thing with cooking. It's so much to think about, but this is actually pretty fun. Eggs are boiling. Butter is just melting. I reread it. <laughs> There's just a lot of pieces to this uh, recipe, okay? You're supposed to cook the chicken in, in a skillet first, and then you transfer it to an oven. So definitely want to get this done before the um, pan comes here anyways. This is smelling amazing. I probably need to add the chicken stock now. Mmm, things are happening. All right, we're adding the chicken stock now. Whee! All right, these babies are done. Gonna transfer them to their little ice bath here. Look at me go, wow. All right, first egg is peeled. Pretty proud of myself, about to do the next one. This is boiling for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Mm, this smells so good. All right, I'm pretty proud of myself right now. We've got these soft boiled eggs right here. I didn't end up having to put the chicken in the oven. It was cooked enough. About to put the ramen noodles in the pan or the pot. Have all the scallions. This is only gonna take two to three minutes. Then we're ready to go. Oh, I didn't get chopsticks. Oh. Ryan brought them. Um, chopsticks, yay! <laughs> It's, I think it's done. I think we're ready to go. Where's the sauce? Oh, there it is. Um, so we'll build it out together. We'll top it off with that. I'm gonna try and make mine pretty, personally. Oh, so, yay. All right, if I do say so myself, haven't tried it yet, but it does look <laughs> gorgeous. And the chopsticks and everything, thanks for bringing those over. So exciting. All right. Good I guess, job. Thank you. Okay. I guess we'll um, try this all together here. Mix everything together. I need bigger bowls for the next round. And the broth, like, the noodles soaked up the broth, but it's okay. Looks good. I'm literally so nervous. Pretty good. Yep. It doesn't taste like marafuku, obviously. Do you want a spoon, too? Yum. Yeah, not this bad. This is good. Mm hmm? Hey. Good morning. I'm wearing these little PJs from Amazon. And when I put them on last night, they still smell like my laundry detergent, the Glamorous Wash. And it smells so good. So good. I guess I should make my bed. Um, the ramen was so delicious. Ryan and I stayed up last night and watched an episode and a half of Dropout. It's our current show we're watching. It's so good. It's a little bit of a rainy morning over here, but that's okay. I have a workout at 11.30, but until then, we're gonna enjoy. I love Wednesday mornings. I just do, for some reason. Before I put any food in my body or anything, I'm gonna take my daily seed. Like I was saying before, that's a daily symbiotic that was developed for systemic benefits beyond just your digestive health, which is really cool. I learned a lot about it the more I've been taking them. So I take two each morning on an empty stomach. When you first start taking them, you actually, they recommend you only take one in the morning to kind of get your body adjusted. So this obviously supports our gastrointestinal health, supports digestive health, so it's gonna maintain regularity, it's gonna ease bloating, and it can alleviate occasional constipation if that's an issue for you. I've had that in the past for sure. This also promotes heart health, which is awesome. Some cardiovascular health makes me really happy and comforted knowing that I'm doing something good for my heart. Also something I love about seed is ever since I started taking it, I just got this jar the first time, and then they write on the back, like, please keep this. So when you get refills, you just put your refills in this jar, which is awesome, and it's just creating so much less waste for the 
environment. Even though glass is obviously infinitely recyclable, the less we create, the lower the impact. So I think that's awesome. So yeah, you just keep your jar for your monthly refills. It's so exciting. It's just such great sleek packaging. I feel like I'm just doing some good for my body. I actually saved this to show you guys because the shipping box is also constructed from ecological paper made from algae that would otherwise damage fragile marine ecosystems. So we love that. I just love everything they're doing. So yeah, you guys know this year is all about wellness for me. So if you want to try this out for yourself, you can get 15% off your first month's supply of Seeds Daily Symbiotic by using the code CAROLYN15 at the checkout. You can also click the link in the description below to get started. Definitely suggest it. I've recommended Seed to a lot of my friends, and I know Brooke uses it too. It's a great little situation. Playing out milk lattes in the mountains. It's the holiday season when I have a Yule log all the time. So I just put this one on on YouTube that was recommended to me doing some work. Realized I didn't hang up my Easter wreath and my mom was like, you got a package. I was like, oops, I know, I know. So I'm gonna hang this up and send her a picture. <laughs> I can't get over this. My, my neighbors are gonna be like, wow, she is very seasonal. But it's so cute. Ta-da, it looks so cute. All right, it's workout time. It's a rainy day. Uh, but I love my workouts. It gets me up and ready. I've been really, really enjoying them and like feeling like I'm like when I this sounds weird, but when I put my hands on my butt, like it just feels firmer, and like my legs, I just feel strong and I feel good. And I've only been doing it for like seven weeks, I think. So I'm just so happy. Um, leggings are from Spanx. Sports bra is from Amazon. It's awesome. I think it came in a set with biker shorts. Um, Hoka white sneakers, my white crew socks. We're gonna be using my little gals on the go tote today, a little pink and green moment. Water bottle, I got this at the hotel in Arizona. They like gave them to us and I'm kind of obsessed with the perfect little size. Got my umbrella in here too. Since it's raining, we're gonna do the super puff cause it's like cold rain too. Um, also, I've been meaning to ask you guys, do you guys know how to like wash puffer jackets slash is that a possibility? Because I tend to wear this one when I go to my workouts and I mean it smells fine but it like kind of smells a little like, like I've been sweaty in it. So like can I put this in the wash? Like I've, ne I've never washed this ever, any of my puffers. So please let me know down below if you guys have done anything or do I just need to like spray it with stuff. I feel like there's gotta be a solution to this. you guys before I started eating it but this is the bowl I got pataya with granola um, coconut kiwi strawberry pineapple and blueberries on top it's called the copacabana bowl but I added strawberries and blueberries technically it's only kiwi and pineapple but I was like let's load it up added honey on top this is so delicious that bowl just gave me so much life it was so so good now we're gonna hop on to therapy I only go to therapy like every two weeks, every two to three weeks sometimes, um, and I'm ready. I'm so excited. Good start to the day. Well, now it's like middle of the day. Um, gonna, yeah, just gonna talk it out with my girl therapist, with my girl therapist, with my therapist. I was gonna say my girl, then I was gonna say my therapist, so it just kind of meshed in between but yeah, and then we have to pack. I'm getting a spray tan. I'm literally so excited. So I'll talk to you guys after. I'm gonna go on my Zoom therapy with my ice roller and see what she says. Hello? What are you 
doing? Skin thing. It is some skin thing. Yeah, this is a an ice roller and it literally like feels so good. All right, so therapy was phenomenal per usual. I just showered, prepped for my spray tan, just threw my hair back. I'm gonna wash it later. I'm wearing my little Skims sweat set because this is like my spray tan one because the spray tan I'm getting, it's not clear, so it'll have some residue. So I always like to just put on dark baggy clothing. I'm making a liquid IV. I always try to drink liquid IV. Oh, did I even tell you guys I'm going to Georgia tomorrow? So we'll be packing tonight. Lots of traveling in the month of April. Um, I just like to hydrate up um, after a workout or before a workout or before I travel. Just try to be conscious of it. And it honestly just like tastes so good. Normally I do glow to go here in New York City and they come right to your door. It's literally amazing. But they're super booked today and I really want to be tan to go to Georgia. So um, I'm going to go get it done. I've never been to anywhere in the city. So I've always done glow to go. Just shaking up my liquid IV here. But yeah, I'm really excited to be tan. I'm so excited. I'm going down to Athens for the weekend. Flying down to Atlanta tomorrow with Ryan. He's staying in Atlanta with his family for the weekend. He'll be like working from home, hanging out with his friends there. And I'm gonna spend the night with his family tomorrow night so I can see them. And then Friday morning, Delaney's gonna pick me up because she lives in Atlanta. And then we're driving to Athens together. I'm so excited. One of our friends still lives in Athens. She, oh my God, I think my Uber is, no, it's not here yet. Um, she's doing like a fifth year there and it's her birthday next week and it was one of our other friends birthdays yesterday So we're doing like a little birthday trip and we were like, where should we do the birthday trip? And then Alex was like, I mean you guys can come stay with me in Athens and she lives where I used to live in, in Athens in the same apartment building So it's just like a sense of nostalgia Call me that girl that's going back to college too much I don't care. I still know a lot of people that are fifth years there. I know a lot of the seniors, like my littles there. Like I just cannot wait to see all them and go to Polly's and just like vibe. So we're just gonna have a weekend. I'm like teetering between vlogging or not. I don't really know. Just because I just, I don't know. I want to vlog, but I'm like, is it like, is it gonna be a good vlog? I don't really know. So yeah, that's that. So that's why I'm getting a spray tan. Um, it's a little bit warmer down there and I have like some springy fun little outfits planned. So I need to show you guys those tonight and pack. And yeah, I'm so excited to see them all and go home. Or go home, go home. Athens is like a second home. So I like have this dream one day that my children will go to Athens. And so then I can like go back for parents weekends. Like that is like, my vibe like I don't know if I want to live in Georgia one day, but I want my kids to go to Georgia So I like do weekends there like how awesome would that be but like I won't force that on my kids But that would be cool. Anyways, let's go to spray tan. Then we're gonna come back Get all kinds of stuff done pack all the things we are back and tanner than ever. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh It's so good. I got level three you can do one to four and I did three because We did it so I'm gonna shower it off in like three hours, but. It's about five o'clock now, I've been doing work and I realized while I was doing work, I wanted laundry to be done. So we're gonna do that now. I found laundry to be a very um, relaxing activity for me, call me crazy. But I was talking to my therapist today and she was telling me I need to do more mindful activities, like things that your brain is on, so like, I was so relaxed last night making the ramen because my mind was on the recipe and I was, it was very soothing. So folding laundry is another one, coloring, cleaning. I love cleaning my apartment and I think that's why folding laundry, Not that's not why I'm doing laundry right now, but I was like, I do enjoy the process for sure. Just separated my lights and darks. We love that, it's a very small load, but I kind of like when I have small loads because then it's easier to do and the more you do smaller loads, I feel like it's just easier overall. My, as soon as I opened my laundry closet doors, it just smells so good in here because I've just got the best detergent. Um, I'm gonna do a glamorous wash, but sometimes I'll just top it off with a little La Labo Rose. It's so good, you guys. All right, I'm gonna do this. All right, darks are folded, about to put those away. Waiting for my whites to finish so I can pop those in the dryer. I don't know why I think you guys care. Um, I'm about to shower off the tan. 
I just got this package in the mail, which I thought I'd open up for you guys. Look how beautiful House of CB package is. I love this. Brooke is having a themed birthday party next week. I am so excited. I don't know when this vlog is going up, so I'm not going to say the theme. But I thought the theme warranted for me to wear a purple dress or a purple outfit. I was thinking either like purple, green, or like a silver moment. So I went with purple. I've seen some of my friends have this set in different colors and I just needed to have it and I want to style this. So it's this House of CB set. It's the purple set. I love this top. It looks so cute. And then it comes with a midi skirt. And the, I've seen people wear it both ways, either high-waisted or low-rise. Uh, I think I'll go high-waisted. Hoping that it'll fit high-waisted, of course. Um, it won't be too loose around the waist, hopefully. But we shall see. So yeah, it's just like a little purple midi skirt with the corset. I'm gonna wear like chunky platform shoes. I just bought some accessories on Amazon that are like the theme. So I have to try it on to make sure, but I don't wanna try it on with all the spray tan on. So very excited about that. Trying to figure out what to do for dinner. I was hungry like an hour ago, so I had like a little bit of the ramen I made last night. Oh, hello human. Um, but I kind of, I'm really craving like veggies, like green beans or something. So I could do another grocery trip. Wait, do I have any frozen broccoli? Please let me have it. I do, I do have, oh, oh my God, I have frozen green beans. I was wanting green beans, okay. See, thank you, past Danielle, for buying frozen veggies because you never know when you're gonna need them. I don't know what I'll eat the green beans with, but that's a later problem. Maybe I'll make some bonza chickpea pasta or something. So, okay, well, dinner's settled. I wanna go downstairs to my little storage unit and get my suitcase. I just got this cute, cute carry-on luggage from Away, and I low-key wanna challenge myself to pack in that bag but also i don't want to like hate myself for just trying to squeeze just because it is three nights it's not a two night trip it's a three night trip there's a friend yeah and i have like all kinds of outfits i want to wear so i don't know it might be big old red suitcase again i went with big red i couldn't help myself i needed the extra room currently listening to peyton sarton's podcast note to self and I'm listening to her a few ways to be a better partner right now. It's really, really great, really insightful. Love her podcast recently. Decided to go with this Bonza chickpea pasta. Um, it has 20 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber. We love that. So I already filled the pot with water. I'm just deciding when to start boiling it. And I'm just letting these green beans thaw out because I'm going to, well, I could just microwave them to be nice to myself so I don't have to redo all this. Um, dishwashing I also need to finish loading the dishwasher I also I posted a TikTok and I was like you know I just like leave like tomorrow I will leave my apartment spotless like I like to be clean and organized when I leave the dishwasher running and everyone was like oh, no like don't have the dishwasher running in case like it floods or like it can mold which I didn't think about so I'm gonna run it tonight and maybe like empty it tomorrow but that's pushing it I don't know we'll see if I empty it but I'll just like leave it open like this when I leave in the morning so it doesn't mold. So thank you all, I learned so much from you guys. All right, packing and prepping the fits. I know I've been doing a lot of vlogging recently of me packing, but I love seeing other people pack, so that's that. I'm bringing a couple different outfit options because I brought my bigger suitcase and sometimes I just don't know what my mood is gonna be. And the weather's like in the 60s, so I don't really know. Bringing this long sleeve shirt from Tiger Mist, so cute. These jeans, they're like snapped down the side. They're from this like Instagram store I found called Manier de Voir, I think. Um, then I'm bringing another pair of jeans with like a slit at the end with this little fun black corset top from Revolve. The brand is Hours, like Hours in Time. That's like the brand. These boots I'm bringing for this outfit. This outfit I'll wear white sneakers with bringing my skims black dress and then also this um turtleneck sleeveless black midi dress and bringing this leather jacket to go with any of the outfits as well as the dress these white cowboy boots from rebecca minkoff oh these are from steve madden um those boots are gonna go 
with this yellow set from Revolve that you guys will probably see on my Instagram. This dress is from my friend Alex who asked if she could borrow it for the weekend. I have some other fun dresses, but it is gonna be in the 60s and these don't even have sleeves and like my leather jacket wouldn't really look good with this. So I'm like unsure. I think this is enough, honestly. Then I'm gonna pack some like comfy outfits for the daytime. Boiling the pasta right now. I just got out of the shower and the green beans are in there as well. I haven't talked to my best friend Caitlin in so long and she texted me and was like, can we please have a catch up call tonight? I was like, literally perfect. I'm just chilling at home, cooking and packing. Oh my God, the last two nights I've had dinner at nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock right now, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna chat with her. So I might not show you guys the finished meal if I forget because I'm about to call her while I'm finishing cooking. Okay, I just got off FaceTime with Caitlin. We talked for, how long did we talk for? Oh, exactly one hour. Um, so good. It was a much needed catch up, but obviously since we like FaceTimed, I sat at my computer. I like kind of multitasked at first, but I really wanted to like be present in the conversation. So I didn't really get much done in that hour and I'm starting to get a little sleepy and I need to pack and stuff and I wanted to go to bed semi early since I'm waking up at 4 a.m. I can't stop thinking about that. Ugh. Ugh. But um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed a couple of days in my life in the sate. And I will see you guys next time for next video. Subscribe. Bye guys. And one last reminder before I end this video to check out Seed for Yourself. I'll have a link down below for you guys to check it out and use the code Carolyn15 at checkout.